You set an electron down on a table, does it emit light? The answer, strangely, is that it depends on who you ask, and this has nothing to do with quantum mechanics. In classical electromagnetism, described by Maxwell's equations, an accelerating charge emits light. This is called bremsstrahlung, or breaking radiation. Ignore the name, it's a bit of a misnomer. But equally true is Einstein's equivalence principle, which implies that sitting at rest in a gravitational field is, locally, indistinguishable from acceleration. So should an electron sitting at rest on a table radiate or not? It seems like we have a paradox in our hands. But of course, paradoxes in physics indicate one of two things, either our physics is wrong or misunderstanding something that the equations say. In this case, it's the latter. The key here is that, like Newtonian mechanics, the traditional form of Maxwell's equations only holds for inertial observers. So let's reframe the question in an equivalent way. The electron accelerates uniformly in flat spacetime. From an inertial observer's perspective, Maxwell's equations hold perfectly well. The charge is accelerating and so radiation is observed. Fine, this is the equivalent of a scientist in freefall passing by the electron on the table. She would detect radiation from the electron as she falls past. But does that answer the question? Is the electron radiating? Well, sort of. What if a scientist were accelerating with the electron? Equivalently, what if the scientist is standing next to the table measuring the electron? To analyze what is measured by this observer, we need to transform Maxwell's equations to a non-inertial reference frame. It's tricky, but doable. The upshot is that there is radiation, but it's hidden from the observer behind an event horizon. That's right, an event horizon. From the perspective of a constantly accelerating reference frame, there's a region of space behind which you can never receive information so long as you continually accelerate. For those interested, that region is a distance away equal to the speed of light squared divided by your acceleration. And just like a regular black hole, you can affect stuff inside the horizon, but it can't affect you. In this case, from the reference frame of the observer accelerating with the electron, there should be radiation, but it's beyond the horizon, and hence, it's never detectable by the observer. This is why a scientist in a lab doesn't measure radiation from an electron just sitting on a table. The radiation escapes to a region inaccessible to them. So the answer seems to be that yes, an electron sitting on a table does radiate, but the radiation doesn't come from the electron, but from the electromagnetic field that's being dragged along with it. That way, energy conservation is accounted for from the electromagnetic field itself. Furthermore, because the radiation comes from the changing electromagnetic field, the electron doesn't need to slow down from either observer's perspective. In this way, neither the inertial nor co-accelerating observers see anything out of the ordinary, only seeing radiation if the charge is accelerating relative to them. Paradox resolved, right? Well, not so fast. While there does seem to be somewhat of a consensus on the matter, there's actually no experimental evidence favoring one resolution that there is radiation over the other that there isn't. And some people think that the resolution I've just described is incorrect, one of whom was Feynman, so tread lightly. 